What's up? What's up? <clears throat> Hello. What's up? All right, we got a, we got a message already. Hate mail. <laughs> I love the hate mail. Good morning, ask me. Thank you. All right, weird openings Wednesday. Weird classical weird openings. Boom. Seven plus five. Oh, I wanted white. Damn it. The I'm gonna play the the reversed. Damn. Doesn't work here. What am I gonna play? Weird openings Wednesday. Let's have an open mind. Seven plus five casual. Speaking of Schumacher. Damn it. I've already used the symmetrical Queen's Gambit. Sir, sir. If anyone else calls me sir, they're into the band. Sir, sir, sir. I'm so sick of this sir shit. It is sire. <clears throat> you shall refer to me as sire. Go to the Lee Chess blog. What? The Dvorkovich Memorial Tournament in Kazakhstan? What? Dude, the guys, you don't call a tournament a memorial. It says the Dorkovich Memorial. What is the Dorkovich dead? Dude, come on. Get out of here. You're playing in it. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I just think it's funny they call it the Dorkovich Memorial. Dude, a memorial is for someone is who's dead. Okay? It's not the Dorkovich Memorial. Someone has to be dead to have a memorial for them. You do realize that, right? Memorial. Are you kidding me? Ninety seven. No, I just want to know, did Dworkovich die? Is that why there's such a delay? And maybe he got polonium by the the Russian government or something. Did he have a little too much polonium in his tea or something? Damn, dude. Ripped Dvorkovich. He's with the Cuban ambassador now. That's what they call elimination. He was playing an elimination tournament. All right. Weird openings Wednesday. Here we are. It's the Karo Khan. It's it's an accelerated Karo Khan. Haveth heard. Haveth. Queen F3. Wow. Look out. sense. Queen F3 makes sense. It's like an Aliakin. Hmm. Aliakin. It's 
unfortunate. That is most unfortunate. <sighs> Don't like that. I'm gonna have to go back. Yep, I didn't see queen f3. This is where we play garbage openings and no one complains because it's fun. Oh, it's so much more refreshing this way. Thinking for ourselves. It's just it's like, um, this reminds me of playing the, um, the Scandinavian with knight f6. Our opponent smells blood in the water with H3. Nothing like the smell of blood in the water in the morning. <clears throat> hmm, that queen F3, that's um, pretty nasty. Not happy with that. Damn. He never puts his queen on f3. What's up? You didn't put your queen on c2. I mean, are you sure this is really bjock? You put your queen on c2 every other game. Now suddenly you're putting your queen on f3. I think it's pretty sus, honestly. Since when do you develop your queen on a square other than c2? And he's like claiming to play in the Kazakhstan Memorial. He's in stage three of the Kazakhstan Memorial. It's your little brother again, isn't it? Yeah, he suddenly leveled up. His brother is like 2,600. <clears throat> I think it's a conspiracy theory already. Our first game today. This guy who's never placed his queen on any other square except for C2 in the last 200 games is suddenly putting his queen on f3 against me. What's up with that, dude? You just played a 1600 blitz rated guy that knew like 25 moves with martial theory? That doesn't surprise me. You know, I had a friend like that. I banned him from the stream. That was the guy who like thought it was funny that my, my daughter's guinea pig died. He's literally a 1600 player. He kept continuously claiming that he was like master strength and stuff. But he literally knew like 25 moves of mass of, of martial martial theory um, an ex friend of mine there are people like that to be fair hey it's Nero it is kind of easy to memorize that particular opening the most of the moves are pretty forcing but if you played anything else then he probably turns into a 1500. Okay, this opening was a fail. I tried something, it didn't work. It didn't work. I mean, the opening itself is dubious, but... Bishop f5 looks like a blunder. Looks like. I don't care, man. I'll just come out the side. Squeeze out like a, a, the blob. I'll just squeeze through the door crack on the, on the side. Just when you think it's safe. They come out of the water. Yeah, he's playing like the Grandmaster suddenly. It's, it's a different Schumach. It's the new Schumach. The tournament Schumach. I see he's playing like I would play. It's like playing myself. I would play, except for H3, which seemed unnecessary. I think the rest of his setup is like perfect. 
H3 was a little unnecessary. Am I lost yet, donkey? Are we lost yet? Pretty close. We're pretty close to lost now. Donkey. Never seen him play like this lately. This is why you give up the center. It's a good instructive way of how to not play chess with black. Give up the center. You know. Have no central pawn on d5. And then have a bad bishop blocked in on c8. I'm going to try to ooze my rook back into the game here. Which won't, won't be possible because of e5. And other than that I'm going to have to play f5. Some kind of desperate break to free myself. Like Steinitz on a really bad day. Yet somehow, yet somehow better than your game, you had a training game with Mr. Coffee? Mr. Coffee pra practicing for the U.S. Amateur, U.S. Amateur Booster section. The Dvorkovich Memorial, Putin Memorial. Um, man, this could get ugly. Damn, it doesn't even push. It keeps building the attack here. Whoa. Now what am I going to do? But I can play c5. Oh no, look at this counterplay. Knight on h5 is pretty scary. Boom, boom. If only he could play two moves in a row, I'd have to resign immediately. Maybe I should bounce back. I've been known to bounce back. What am I thinking? If pawn takes what? If pawn takes pawn? Why would he play pawn takes pawn? He's never going to play pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn, knight d7. It's just a question whether he finds e5 or something more crushing. This is horrible for black. Yeah, there's no way to do anything other than knight d5, I guess. And now, for his last trick. know what comes next. Desperado. Bishop takes h7. No. We're ready to blast off. Ask Elon Musk when the launch time is scheduled for. Ready to play f5, bro. He's going to lose on time. It's really a new Schumacher. Ooh, and Queen h5, f5. On passant, knight takes f6. Staying alive with a very bad position. Yes. f5. Oh, there I can play queen takes queen, too. Beautiful thing. Queen takes queen. Damn, you're just gonna lose on time? Are you sure you're like you? You must have fallen asleep. Yeah, you don't want to screw around too much here. Knight f6 check? Does that work? I love this position. Oh, damn it. Alright, whatever. That was a stupid move. He was gonna play knight f6 check. Right, whatever. Now 
come down upon. Doesn't work. Damn it, I forgot he could just play knight takes c5. I'm, I'm focused on the king's side. I can't believe I, be I believe this bluff. Does that actually work? Maybe knight f6 would have really worked. Didn't work. Come on. I had time to play c takes d. This is a blunder. Damn. Get out your computers. Very strange time management from Schumacher and a different style than usual. Yeah, that's the engine move. Wait, what? Knight takes e5? Queen takes e5. What's wrong with queen takes e5? What's happening here? What? Jesus, with the queen d3. The Asser mate. Not gonna astromate me. Bishop E two. Unbelievable. I'm up the exchange here. What happened here? He's trying to trade pieces. It's weird. Intensity. You gotta appreciate the intensity. The sheer will to win of white. I don't know, this is very amazing time management from him. He's not usually down to his increments, and then... I think it's a different player, to be honest. He's also not talking at all, which is weird. Right? He's got his cousin playing on his account, dude. I've seen this once or twice before. Seems like different people. Trying to qualify for the, the Kazakh Championship. Naughty, naughty. Getting your cousin to play. His cousin's pretty good, to be fair. Well, they're two different good players, though, you know. His time management seems different. He's got like 
suddenly he's got like Mr. Slow time management. Whereas a normal Schumacher doesn't go down on his increments like that. He's like a totally different person. <clears throat> Sadly. Game over now? Sadly? Damn, whose side are you on? Is it? He resigned before I could meet him. God damn. Your cousin's pretty good, Schumacher. But I'm not sure he's that much stronger than you. Alright. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> you're not talking you know you're strangely strangely not talking all right you play queen f3 normally you would put your queen on c2 but i took that as, i guess i took the square away from you if i hadn't played bishop f5 you wouldn't have put your queen on on f3 you would have put it on c2 yeah i didn't let him You sack freaking rook. I expected you to sack freaking rook. That was my biggest hope. Was it a bad move? It was fine to sack the rook. Question mark? It's still good. Wow, you're even better after queen takes queen. This is interesting. I didn't realize this is that much better for white, but I guess it makes sense. I'm just glad to be alive after that horrible mistake in the opening. Bishop f5. What is this, dude? Queen f3 exclamation point. Apparently I, I'm best served by sacking a pawn with e6, but man. Alright, that's bad. Bishop f5 was really bad. Cheesy Noob, not a subscriber. GHM, not a subscriber. Nero, subscriber. Subscriber. Was g6 not engine move after knight c3? Wait, what? engine move I don't know g6 maybe subscriber all right our next subscriber subscriber is <laughs> I like this subscribers Oh man, I keep getting black every game. What the heck? Why do I keep getting black every game? I had, it's weird openings Wednesday and I had a special opening I wanted to play with white. <clears throat> Oh my god. It's a pro blade ho. Scanning the red light district. My cousin tends to show up when I'm drunk. Cousin played pretty well. Cousin Vinny. The grobe. Grobe! Grobing. Grobing for dollars. 
<clears throat> I'm trying to play the Elshan with colors reversed. <laughs> this is the four gorge. <laughs> This is a form of check defense. I was killing people with this, with both colors yesterday. It's like a hybrid. I'm trying to play the Elshan. I just play C3 and G4 and Queen A4 every game. It's some kind of, it's like a grob, it's like a modified, like, delayed grob, effectively. This is a, it's a very effective, very effective against people, particularly who rely heavily on opening theory, I guess. Grobbing. We gotta make new, new stream title. Problem. Grabbing the subscribers. <laughs> That's my new stream title. Grabbing the subscribers. Okay, now he's getting he's getting serious. Bishop C four, look out. That's not a joke. Natural. I prefer fake. I actually never really do it on my stream, but I have a lot of experience playing troll openings. Grubbing. Grubbing the subscribers. Subscribing. We only have five gift subscribes. Six gift subscribes this 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 week. You play this in OTB? I don't even play the Dutch in OTB. The Grob is the worst opening one can play. OTB off track betting. I prefer to play the English and lose in twenty moves. Whoa, D five. That's a nice diagonal you've got there. Master Yoda. Could be something to this setup for white. for dollars. Damn, do you have like pawn takes pawn, bishop takes f7 in check? If I do that, maybe. Let's be confident. Bishop g4, pawn takes pawn. I could play bishop takes f3. Queen takes f3. That's good. Yeah, he has bishop takes f7, but let's check it out. Bishop g4. Thank you for the double x clam. Yeah, knight e7 is my other option. 
bishop g4, pawn takes pawn. I'm going to miss those ambulances, I tell you guys. Knight takes c6, developing the tempo. Bishop f7, king f7, knight takes g5 check. That's bullshit, he has to sack two pieces. Doesn't work. <clears throat> What's he gonna do? Sack two pieces to win one? Two for one sale. You can't sack two pieces to win one piece. I mean, you can if you want to. Whoa. What's up with B2? That's not an issue. Weird. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Is this a good move? Probably not. The master of tactics has arrived. Wow. What's wrong with this move again? Pretty high level poison of no shit, man. I usually, I will never take D2 on principle. I mean, almost never will take it, just on principle. B2 poison. A new book by Axel, Axel Smith. He already has E3 poison. B2 poison, a bestseller on Amazon. Double exclam from Sholby S. Whoa. He who hesitates is losteth. Um, okay, knight of six is definitely possible. Knight d7 is definitely possible. One controls the center more than the other. It also defends the g4 bishop. Attacks the central pawn. I'm not taking any pawns, like, ever. So just don't even worry about it. The original plan here was to induce weakening of white's king side with h3 and g4. But if bishop h5, he's not afraid to pull the trigger on g4, I'm sure. Knight g4, pawn g4, bishop g4. It's kind of funny. Funny haha. -ha. Damn, I could, I could literally sack a piece there. It's pretty crazy. I'm being provocative. This will never work. He has an out that I missed. Bishop d4. This doesn't work. Ooh, it gets pretty spicy though. This will never work. <clears throat> How's my allergies doing? A3 played instantly. What's that? Pawn takes pawn. What does that do? What does pawn takes pawn do? What's the point? I don't understand. Care about knight d5? Do I? Famous last words. Ahem. <clears throat>
weird. Hmm. Oh no. Bishop takes c3. This is just bizarre. Wait, I'm getting a whole piece there. So I'm down the exchange. Not a bad deal. That's pretty deep, honestly. foreseen that already oh no he's foreseen that as well he's defending his pawn wow I have this what's the next tactic yeah pushing the H pawn would be pretty nice Submissible. Grabbing. Grabbing the <laughs> grabbing the subscribers. By the grabbing by the what? Grabbing the subscribers by the fill in the blank. I like this plan. This plan is a good idea. Wait. I have some control over that facet of the board. Board facet. Farah facet. Grabbing by the subscribers. Subscribers. Oh man, look at that. I belong to the Psychic Network. How about you? I should just play G4. That was a good plan. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. My H pawn. God damn it, Jerry. Rook F4, how am I gonna mate him if he puts his rook on E3? Yeah. No, that was the plan he wrecked it with rookie one, rookie three. Oh, my H pawn. All right, Th that was an interesting opening. What do we call this? Does it have a name? C6, queen A5, TN. If it pleases master, master. If it pleases, Master, I present a horror show. Horror show. Grab him by the blank. Analysis board. Study. Study analysis stream. Right. Okay. Next. Next victim. Oh no, not Cheesy Noob. He's like immune to my powers. 
He doesn't play like the other children. Arsenal fan. What am I black again? What the hell? I'm black again? Dude, whatever. I'm gonna be black every single game. Are you guys trolling me? Requesting white? No. I can't play the suggestion to go knight c6. I play that all the time. This is practically a normal opening for me. Lorenzo. Lorenzo Lamos. We need a suggestion what to grab them by for my stream title. Robbing the subscribers by the... And we need a... We need a term. I'm gonna miss these ambulances so much. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. So much traffic at 12 o'clock. They really need those sirens. Alright. Yes. Subscrubbers. They're like subscribers and scrubs. It's subscribers. You can hire a cleaning service. Subscrubbing. <clears throat> Ooh, here comes another one. Okay, guys, we just have an hour hour and 20 minutes left is that the same ambulance like going far away or is it another one coming the greatest thing about keeping the windows open here my new apartment where i'm moving next week is in a normal place where i'm not going to have like freaking ambulances rushing by every every five seconds sadly i'll be able to like open the window without you know, just normal street noises, maybe, but. Not the wee you, wee you, wee you every minute. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I could play D5, but I wanted to play something different. By the board. This is like a slow one. Slow moving ambulance. I have this theory that sounds travel more if there's wind and high wind. Is that actually a true fact? Just the theory. My, my physics is a little bit weak. Tra sounds seem to travel farther when it's windy. I've noticed. Does that make sense? What's up with the panda? What's up with it? Um, Honda is Honda is our mascot, but I moved his table to my new apartment, so he doesn't have a normal place. This is a replacement panda. It's a scrub panda. This is just a scrub. We're scrubbing him. The Nimzo. Scrubs are like players who, you know, or workers who, scabs, or sc scrubs. Scabs, actually. Scrubs. Scrubbers. This is a replacement Honda. The other one is on strike with the Hollywood Writers Guild. Why 
why not, you might ask. At least not what not. <clears throat> you don't have to ask. Feel free. Do what you want. Ask, ask away. I'm having manic episodes lately. Of course, I don't have to play V6. Why not Castle? Of course, it's usually good to, to be flexible. Flexible in nature. Arsenal's heteroflexible. He loves the Four Knights. He didn't know it, but he's playing the white side of the Four Knights now. Um, all right. Knight takes d5. Triple exclaim. Allows a lot of simplification. It does. I, I, takes d5. Simplification allows it does. Says Yoda. I takes E four. Squares weakens it does. I think E four F five also a theoretical possibility, but why do such things? Just to be fancy, is there a concrete reason we'd want to do these things to activate his otherwise crappy bishops? Why would I want to do these things? Don't don't do things that have no plan. Haveth haveth a plan. I mean the whole point of this position from my perspective is that he has bishops that are kind of blocked by the pawns like a nimzo so i have two knights and i should want to play a closed position maneuvering maybe using my knights to my advantage somehow i didn't expect knight d2 yeah, i mean there's a lot of different ways to play too i mean certain different positions there's not one right way to play, necessarily. I'm talking too much this game. You're talking a lot, but you're not saying anything, Slaggy. I'm playing the cube in their nim, so. It's like a cube in nimzo where his c pawns are on c2 and c3 instead of c3 and c4. Which is probably to White's benefit to some degree. At least his bishop has this potential. Unlike, you know, with the pawn on c4, he's just totally an octopus. Octopus in a can. Canned polyp. If you play c4, you have a canned polyp. Polyp. Hungarian. Octopus. Polyp. Polypuk. I don't know the plural for octopi in, in Hungarian. Polypok. 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 Many. No relation to Latin. Okay. Polyp. Polyp is probably like Germanic or something. No, maybe it is Latin. I don't know. Played f4. It takes a very sick, twisted individual to play that. Schumacher would play that, for example. Or Schumacher's cousin. There's some... There's some sort of rational basis for this. My English is good for Hungarian. 
A Hungarian is good for an Englishman. Though I'm neither Englishman or Hungarian. I am American, therefore I speak English. But Hungarian sucks for uh, an Englishman who's lived here a long time. Polip. No, I would have a Hungarian accent if I was Hungarian. It's hard to lose that accent completely, even for people who speak English very well. Um, I don't know any other Hungarians who have as very, I don't think I know anyone who has a, as American accent as I do. That would be almost impossible. Least not, want not. American. I live in Buddha. I live in Buddha, Buddha, and I'm moving to Buddha next week. I don't have a Boston accent. I'm not really a Bostonian. I just went to school there. I was a Boston transplant. You know, I was discriminated against Astor B by the local chess culture for not being a local when I lived in Boston. They didn't want to let me be the Massachusetts state champion. When I won the, the state championship of Massachusetts, there was a movement, the groundswell. No, there, there was a little bit of an undercurrent of He's, he's a student from New Jersey, but I lived in Boston. Man, Arsenal's playing for the draw. That's what I was afraid of. This move doesn't make sense. How does that make sense? He's always playing for a draw, it's Arsenal. Unbelievable. All he ever wants to do is trade pieces and draw. What? <laughs> oh yeah, like bring it on, bro. Rook at f5. Rook f6. Oh shit. Rook f6. Double queen sacrifice. He just played c4. Petrosian versus Petrosian. Petrosian. Petrosian v Petrosian. V. Did I blunder yet, donkey? It's a draw. It's a hundred move win. Pest is nice, but the more life, more life in Buddha. Lots of parts of Pest are nice, but it's more, I don't know, residential. Piest, Piest, Piesta, Fiesta, Ford Fiesta. Asked me, what was your first car? Ford Fiesta?
What would Sergei Tivyakov do? Steel plated steel plated Ford Fiesta on E five. What does this position have to do with Taco Bell? You might ask. What if I told you there's a connection? Please, please. Please, just don't. 1976 Gremlin? Are you serious? A Gremlin? Yeah. This, this, the Thermal Bass and Budapest are cool. It's a long tradition dating back to the, the Roman. Turkish eras. What was my plan again? Is Rook there a good idea? That's a bad idea. Bishop B1. Kaching. Why did I play Rook E7 again? I started changing my mind about my plan. Oh shit. I'm getting overconfident here. Wait, was this a Jinji Indian? Well, I mean, I wouldn't call it invaded by the Huns. It was sort of like, that's sort of, sort of settled it in the first place. But yeah, the Turks invaded. But this is part of the Roman Empire, you know. There are a lot of Roman ruins here. Ruined Romans. He's a tactical bus saw. He's a tactical bus kill. But we're making our taco run. <laughs> Make the run for the border. Taco run. I suppose I could always give up the exchange. Indian and uh, you know ironically like b5 might be a good plan ultimately probation I still was given up on offense Watch out, though. He had a chance there.
I thought the G4 was going to come a little earlier than it did. That's why I was evacuating previously. made around here somewhere where's the mate Alright, we gotta figure out a way to win this quickly. I'm screwing this up. Amazing blitz skills. Ten thousand bullet, fourteen thousand blitz, eleven thousand rapid. My God, Arsenal, you play a lot. I found the only move there. Rook check. Whew, that was close. I completely screwed it up at the end. Looks like. But apparently not. Wow. You had me, Bamboozle. I really thought I had screwed up. I'm 
17 CPL. Arsenal fan also played well. Eight inaccuracies, one mistake only. Pretty bad. Pretty and bad. What more can you ask for? I'm pretty and bad too. Can I challenge you to play the cow opening? What is the cow opening? Do I want to know? No Anna Kremlin inven invention, sorry. I'll, I'll avoid it. YouTube recommended it to me. That's the cow opening? Oh no, that's not you. Okay. That's not you. Ah, you avoided the, the grub. Grub. This is easily refuted by F4. We missed the F4. H6 is obviously very critical here. Hmm. It's a good hey, it's Miro opening. Oof, Bishop at four. And now you're asking for trouble. Really asking for trouble. Knight b5, eh? She bit her dog. Thirteen hundred. Um, oh, we haven't played before. YouTube recommended it to me, dude. All kinds of horrible chess streamers these days. But you know what I dislike the most? about Anna Kremling, this like, where they, they go and they like, I don't know, go to the park hustlers and pretend to be, you know, just some lady and use it to like milk them for hundreds of views or millions of views or whatever. They have like tons of money and they're like trolling these like guys who probably like don't have enough money to live it's really cool all right i'm gonna play bishop g4 It's just like thirteen hundred. Once Nigel Short did that, he came to Harvard Square and he he pretended to be like a total beginner to try to hustle Murray Turnbull. Not hustle him, just kind of humiliate, you know?
pretty bad. H4 and castle queenside, right? What is this? Infinite analysis. Infinite popcorn. Am I blinded by the sun? Yeah, another great feature of my current digs. I don't know, it's the rain, the ambulances, the sun in the stream. I have like the worst possible streaming setup in this place. I'll have a normal room, at least. With a window I can open even when it's raining. No sun on the stream. No pigeons walking on my roof. pretty bad. Thirteen thirty-four. Wow. That's pretty impressive for thirteen thirty-four, to be honest. people who like exploit chess that's all I'm gonna say on the on the subject S chess exploitationists pretend to be something they're not, you know. Pretty bad, you're 1334. Pretty inconsistent. It's got quite a positional style for 1334. Just needs some seasoning. I think he's pretty damn strong for 1334, to be honest. Lost a pawn, one pawn. I mean, against someone more than a thousand rating points higher, 20 moves into the game. That's, that's damn good. To be honest. Most players rated 1334 wouldn't even survive. Arsenal fan, like, in all fairness, dude, I'd really like to know, like, what percentage of Grandmasters get their accommodation paid for at chess tournaments, and, <laughs> like, I would say that's, that's pretty rare, to be honest. I have lots of friends who are Grandmasters, and most of them can't even fucking afford to make a living, so I don't agree with you. There may be a certain, like, percentage of, like, English players there, I don't know who do, but if you take like the average Hungarian Grandmaster, they basically can't even afford to make a living. It sounds like the English chess Grandmasters might have a pretty good deal going there. I could see like Keith Arkel complaining about everything or someone like that. But I think like in most cases, there's not enough support for strong players. There may be some that you're right, act like that, like Grandmaster Karens or something. I'm sure there are. But I think it's actually, it's pretty rare overall, you know, that they get any kind of conditions. Plus now, I mean, you know, there's a lot of so-called grandmasters, but it's not like in the old days when there was, there was only like a hundred grandmasters in the world or something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I 
I don't think, I think it's more of an English thing. Also, in, in the United States, the tournament situation doesn't really exist. If you play in a tournament in the United States, you don't get any accommodation free. You you absolutely never get accommodation free. If you pay, if you don't pay an entry fee, it's deducted from your prize. All the class sections have like the same amount of money. You know, whatever this paid in. So, yeah, I think you have a you have a bad system in the UK probably that favors the the elite players. I would say it's more localized to your particular country, to be fair, what you're talking about. Keith Arkell is a Karen, complaining about everything. He's constantly complaining. Yeah, I mean, White's remarkable for 1300. 1200 blitz. Yeah, this account is pretty weird. I mean, I think if you're like a famous elite player or something, that's different from just like getting a random grandmaster. I don't know, man. I think like the typical Hungarian grandmaster can't can't really afford to make a living at all. Most can't afford to, to live by playing in tournaments, so they just have to teach chess. Now what are we doing? I have forty minutes left. What thirty five. Now you're gonna like you're seriously gonna like like lose on time. Who is this player? I'm just gonna like resign if they let their clock run out. Before they let their clock run out. Oh, it's a mouse slip. Take back. Next, we'll get a take back request. Relatively new account, of course. I want to resign, but I don't want to give them the satisfaction of resigning. Irony. I love British television. Arsenal, you don't have a feeder rating? You just started playing like a few years ago. I mean, I love that this guy won't resign. It's definitely a nine-year-old child.
All right, how much time do we have left? Shaki, the dubious master. The nine-year-old? I don't know, man. These nine-year-olds are getting pretty frisky. But I told you guys before, the first... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to accept dubious master's challenge. All right, I'm going to have to cancel this. I meant to accept Shaki. I told you before, the two worst poker players are those whose accounts start with 69 or DAWG dog. I mean, I think at 11 we start to create accounts with 69 in it. I don't know, man. I was always psyched when I faced another poker player who had those, those words, either 69 or dog in their account. Then you were guaranteed to be playing like a, uh, like a donkey. Sixty-nine dog. With like a muscle car in their profile picture. That's like the ideal online poker opponent. <clears throat> You gotta use any tally you can get. All right, I played G6. This is not an unusual opening. Frontal Arsenal fan. <laughs> we'll play something interesting here. It's not too late to make this interesting. Wait, G6 is boring. That's boring. The Gorb. Let's create an opening called the Gorb. The Wanker. <laughs> wanker Dog 69. allergies going on I want to play h5 I'm trying to I'm trying to control myself chesticles Chesticles. Yeah, we should create like a meme website of chessable. <laughs> Where we make just like stupid opening videos and call it chesticle. <laughs> I'll do classes on the the grob and We'll get our ass sued by Chessable. Magnus's lawyers. Chesticle. Sacrifice. I told you guys on another platform I had a chess handle called Snack on My Sack. 
it was a play on words, and what the hell's going on with my... In a galaxy far, far away, snack on my sack. I remember once, like, beating Irina Crush, and there was this announcement that said, like, I am Crush is playing Sack of My Sack. And then like the next day my account was was like closed. Early it was early um cancel culture. happening here see deep thoughts what was that a Saturday Night Live skit deep thoughts with Brooke takes E3 pawn takes that's kind of demented to maneuver knight f1 and then play pawn takes But I mean it in the best possible way. How's my d5 pawn? If I play f6, I could have some issues. I need an e6 pawn, I guess, to guard that. Hmm. Alright, we'll just play e6. I already played the bull opening. Uh, I don't want to get I don't want to get canceled. Couldn't use the word chesticles near a female chest dreamer. No, 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 no jokes of any sexual nature are allowed. Man, my nose is so itchy. What the hell? I've got like this crazy allergy pollen coming in. Another good reason to move. <laughs> oh, there was some other gross thing about about Anna Kremling, how she complained that some chess player, and I admit this is creepy, but still, she she claimed in some article, because she's so deserving of, like, you know, being covered in, in big big articles in the, in the media, she claimed in some article that some chess player at a tournament told her that they, they couldn't concentrate, they couldn't stop looking at her, and then she repeated this, that she was she was freaked out by this, but like, dude, honestly, you're talking about chess players when there's like 2%, it's like being in jail, you know? What what do you expect? I mean, honestly, most of these chess players haven't seen a woman in the last like 20 years. And you're like a young and pretty woman. And most of these people are chess players who are like socially awkward, who haven't seen a woman in the last 20 years. You're honestly surprised that they find you physically attractive and it's it's distracting. It's it's kind of creepy to say that that I admit that they said that was kind of creepy, but still.
Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. So, so a socially awkward chess player who probably, you know, rarely leaves his mother's basement said that he was distracted by his opponent's attractiveness. Yeah, I admit it's kind of awkward, but I would, yeah, I don't think there's, you know, I don't think we need to have an article about it. I agree, you know. But that's all it is, man. Anna Kramling is clickbait. You know, that's the problem. That's what I'm saying. The entire basis of her is clickbait, and it's like the, the Botez sisters are the same. They're, they're, they're basing their whole existence on being clickbait, you know. It's not like it's like Alexandra Kusinyuk, who's a great chess player, saying this, right? Probably Alexandra Kusinyuk had that kind of thing happen, like, you know, a dozen times. She doesn't, like, have articles written about it, you know? It's ridiculous. Seriously. Oh, it's sexism. It's sexual harassment. Yeah, address it at the source by getting more women involved in chess. And then people won't be freaked out. You don't have to, like, demonize this person for being attracted to a female. I don't think, you know. For being socially awkward. It's not a crime to be socially awkward, by the way. Yeah, I agree. It, it's just it's very complex. Wow, night B three. <sighs> All right, nice move. People wonder why young men committing suicide, women don't have the pressure of being the one to actually instigate contact. No. Well, who should be the one to instigate contact? That's like, where is this written in stone or whatever, you know? You're, it's ridiculous, the whole thing. God forbid you're like attracted to someone. If you're attracted to someone at your workplace and you show that you're attracted to them, you like be sued or something. That's kind of messed up. Queenie two, the master of tension. All right, I'm just gonna do it. If you're not gonna do anything, I'm gonna do something. You know, this is enough of this. I get a lot of people staring at my boobs. Personally. It's happening more lately. I put on a little weight.
That that e pawn, Ilyash is back. Thanks for being a subscriber. Right. Where did I see your name? They were you were you were given a gift sub yesterday, and therefore you're back. Yes, yes me. We're just debating counterculture, counterculture, cancel culture. What happened, man? You're sacrificing a piece. Yeah. Triple. He has a triple attack. Oh my god. Triple attack. Did I have to allow that? No. I'm not a stupid idiot. King g7 wins. King g7 just wins. Defending my bishop on f6. Your sack doesn't work, but now it does. I didn't play king g7. Well, I mean... I actually know a Hungarian who has that name. It's like a, their family name. Interestingly enough. That's how we would pronounce it here. I can't believe it. Wait, it's not a triple attack. Oh my god. You scammed me. You almost scammed me. Holy shit, my rook's protected. Wow, Shaki's scamming me. I convinced myself my other rook was hanging. Whoa. I was like gonna give up practically. He has a defense for everything. It's just not fair. the mate. Alright guys, last game. Yes. Dev. Tunisia. Oh no, come back. Your subscriber, come back. Tunisia. I got black almost every game today.
Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Back. All right. Oh no, our favorite opening. I thought that might happen. Hmm, B5 could be a useful move later. Especially against the Jabava London. London not allowed. You despise the London. Flex, flex, flex upon, flex upons. A four. That's a nice move you've got there. always get curb stomped by the computers. What's up with that? It's a pretty solid London. Classic. London classic. Whatever happened to the London Chess Classic? Did they spend all their money on like accommodation for Grandmasters? Is that still existing? Remember not to castle when you play the London. It's very important. The most important rule is like attack g6 with all your pieces, especially like knight h4, bishop d3, queen c2. You try to get every single piece attacking g6 and then not castle or castle queen side. That's basically the way you're supposed to play the London. Now that's the correct London. Now I don't think I should rush here to castle myself. What was the London Chess Classic backed by? I guess COVID killed it. I love it though when like new tournaments come up and they're called classics. Now we got the Kazakh chess classic coming up. The classic Dvorkovich Memorial. Dude, don't castle no matter what you do. Oh man, I gotta go. This game has to be finished in nine minutes. Don't forget to attack G6. And, and not to castle.
Cast castling's bad. Especially when you're white in the London. I'm just trolling people. Yeah, there you go. Alright. See? Castled. Congratulations for castling. Takes an open minded London player to castle. I have to give you credit for that. The classic Mr. Coffee Memorial. <laughs> That's. With extra sugar and cream. Nice. He's zoning in on F7. Mm. How does this work exactly? Oh no, queen takes g6, look out. <clears throat> A knight on h3. The Lord giveth and he taketh away. It's tempting to do g5. I have to admit to being strongly tempted couldn't resist. It's a good thing White Castle. I gotta be careful with Bishop H7 check. He went to E2. What? That's weird. That's not good. That is not good. Now you went to d3 because I forced you to. Careful. You might get what you wish for. Alright guys, I gotta go. It was nice talking about cancel culture with you all. Being off the side of the screen. I gotta see if I can modify this webcam to make it like center. All right, first annual Mr. Coffee Memorial. Try turning it around. <laughs> no. It's a built in. No, I like the neck cam. Here's rooking at you, baby. I like the guy who came on the stream and he was, he was obsessed with the fact that his wife said that my t-shirt necks were, were too stretched out. It's like one of those like fabric softener commercials or something. Dude, how weird is it to like say that you know, this is probably the same guy who complimented 
who complimented like Anna Kremling on the fact that he couldn't stop looking at her. <laughs> you have like no control over the things you say. Um. Yep, it's time. Oh goody, it's time, it's time. We're up a rook, but Wade has a very powerful uh, force field around the king side. Mate will not be tolerated. Chad, oh that was the word I was trying to remember. The male name for Karen is Chad. I like the shelter that White has, though, the Tetris, the double-sided Tetris. It's like a Russian butterfly mine. There's, there's a hiding place on, on G2 and E2. Can you, can you turn that if you use the W, A, S, D keys? Mate in two. Mate is great. Ask me if you make another joke about th about the nose hair cam. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna just have to like ban you. All of our body hair gets gets longer as we get older. No more jokes like that. It's like the exact same thing that happened to that guy with Anna Kremling. Again, Astrobay can't control the things he says. He's like, nose hair cam. It's like it just goes in your head and it just pops out. Bloop. You need this little voice inside that like checks what you're gonna say. And then, and then like, oh, will the other people appreciate if I say this? You think, will Slatchy appreciate if I say this? And then it's like, no. The little voice inside Astrobate's head says, no, Slaggy's going to ban you if you say that. Don't say it, therefore don't say it. You need that little voice inside your head. The little voice inside your head. <laughs> it's not like those other voices inside your head. This is the one voice you're supposed to have inside your head. Yo, okay, got it? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye, guys.